And I am with the crew from the film How to Train Your Dragon 2. Welcome to all of the dragons and all of the Vikings here in the studio. Thank you for coming in. Jeffrey Kastenberg also with your wonderful crew and director and Kate Blanchett. Thank you so much for being in Cannes today. America Ferreira, welcome to you. Kit Harrington, Jim and Honsu, thank you very much. Jay Burachel, um, the Dean de Blois and Jeffrey Katzenberg. You are celebrating 20 years of DreamWorks. 20 years can be the nicest age in life, so wish you a happy birthday. And you probably have uh, had some great memories with DreamWorks. I have some wonderful memories with DreamWorks, but so many of them are shared right here in Cannes. We have had a love affair with right. Cannes, and we continue to have that love affair. And uh, we have loved Cannes, and Cannes has loved us back. It has been good luck for us in so many wonderful ways. Yeah. Shrek, par exemple. Shrek, qui Shrek était là, qui était to là name but one, in competition. Shrek will have been an, an important uh, character. Shrek, Shrek had uh, even an Oscar for uh, an animated film. Yes, but the introduction of Shrek was again right here in, right. in Cannes, and I think one of the greatest experiences of my career, certainly mm -hmm. here uh, for DreamWorks, was premiering that movie here mm -hmm. in the Cannes Film Festival. As you know, something that had not happened in 50 years. Yeah. In fact, so thank you very much for being with us. You've brought the most wonderful collection of actors here. So Kate Blanchett, you have just received an Oscar this year, so congratulations on that. Well done. Thank you for mentioning it. Merci d'en avoir parlé. Actually, have two. Two again. <laughs> How do you switch from Woody Allen to a film like How to Train Your Dragon? Do you have to prepare the role in the same way? Well, Woody shoots for six weeks and Dean Dubois shoots for three years. So it's, it was quite different. But it's a wonderful thing to sort of have to harness a character in your voice, uh, you know, uh, only. And it was, um, I, I'd, I'd never done this before, so to be there from, you know, the, the the inception of it where the animation mm. is really embryonic and then having to evolve the character as the animation evolves was a unique kind of experience for me. Mm. Slightly frustrating not to see yourself on the screen, not to physically enjoy the role. Oh, it's photographic realism. This, yeah, no, that's, no, no, it's, no, it's great actually. It's great to hide behind that, um, you know, the, the character of, of Falca. You know, I wore the full costume when we were when we were doing the boy. <laughs> It's true that the characters in the film, Dean de Blois, have wonderful faces and expression. They're almost perfect, almost human. How did you get there? We work with some of the finest animators in the world, and they, they make a living by studying the nuances and subtleties of, of human expression. And so even though our characters are quite caricatured, uh, we manage to breathe a lot of believability into those characters by just, just studying and with the, the fantastic nuanced voice performances from our actors as well. Do you record the voices first of uh, Kate, America, Kid? Do you record the voices first? Yes, we do. Uh, it's, as part of the process, we always record the voices ahead of time, and then the animators listen to the voices very carefully, and they start to kind of build their own ideas of how they can supplement the performance mm. with the acting. But uh, it's always done ahead of time. Mm. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> Harold, je uh, voudrais dire Harold, parce que Jay, votre Hiccup. In fact, Jay, uh, you were, you were, you uh, look uh, like Hiccup. Uh, mon avis, comme un, un peu, uh, mon in fils. my, he's my son. He must be my son. I don't really have a son in real life, but I think that uh, Hiccup could be my son. He's got the same voice as I do. We have certain uh, similarities. Perhaps he's a li little more handsome than I am. Do you like that work, that way of working? Yes, I love working like that. It's the best type of work as far as I'm concerned. I don't need any makeup. I don't need to put any costumes on. Just can work in my pajamas. Just hang around. It's uh, it's, it's absolutely fabulous. America Ferrara. Did you have you seen the finished effect? Have you? 
you seen your person, your character? I've, I've seen my character several times, uh -huh. and I've seen a rough cut of the film, and it made me cry five times. So I can't <laughs> even imagine how I'm going to be tonight getting to see it here at Cannes with such a huge and wonderful audience. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Jimon Hunsu, vous qui jouez le, le méchant. Jimon Hunsu, you play the baddie. Is it good fun to play to play the baddie? Absolutely. On a tous ce côté caché en nous. Yes, it is. We've all got a baddie hidden deep inside us, full of our frustrations. <laughs> I think uh, he, he knows what he knows what I'm talking about. Jeffrey knows very well what I'm talking about. What do you mean by that? <laughs> No, it, it was a wonderful experience. But you look like such an, an angel to look at you like that. But it wouldn't melt in your mouth. But I've got a different side to me also, a dark side. Kit Harrington. In Game of Thrones, there are dragons, but it is not the same universe. Did it cast you back to Game of Thrones when you were playing uh, Eret? I think you did. You start uh, How to Train Your Dragon before Game of Thrones, or was it afterwards? Well, uh, Game of Thrones is continuing at the moment, so I'm right. sort of it's within the same thing. So yeah. I don't know. It's, it's slightly more family friendly than Game of yeah. Thrones. I think. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's for all the family this one, whereas maybe not with Thrones. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I was thrilled when Dean approached me to do this movie. I um, have a lot of friends who it's very close to their hearts, and I watched it when I got approached to do it, and it was, and I, I now love it, and mm -hmm. it's, it's great to be in this, in this family, in this um, DreamWorks and How to Train Your Dragon family, as well as the Thrones family, and, and two very opposing but similar projects. Mm -hmm. C'est vrai que DreamWorks est une famille. Yes, DreamWorks is a family. Do you get the same, uh, the same, the same feeling? You work with Stream, with uh, Spielberg. Do you imagine that it's a kind of family atmosphere? Well, very much, and I think that um, it is a. We go on a journey together, all of us. Uh, it's a four-year, five-year journey sometimes, and uh, you make wonderful friends, and uh, we we get to collaborate in a way that no other kind of movie making does and in this film in particular Steven Spielberg mm. was a great partner right. to our filmmakers and very generous with his time and uh, input along the way I know it was something that Dean really looked forward to and the best news is we showed the movie uh, Tuesday uh, to Steven in Los Angeles before coming here and we got the final blessing he said <laughs> we were perfecto <laughs> Perfect. Kate Blanchett, you also act in the theatre. I saw you in Paris on stage. Yes, yes, yes. Do you act in the theatre? I saw you in Paris on stage. Do you approach uh, theatrical work, which is very, which uh, counts on your voice? Do you have to speak more loudly when you're acting on a stage? <laughs> well, it helps to be heard, but you know, it, it depends on the role. I mean, it's uh, the word is project, isn't it? So if your thought is clear, then you'll reach the back stalls is not necessarily about shouting although there is that expression that you know an actor's job is to shout at night and I often feel that that's what I do mm. shout at night <laughs> <laughs> Dean, there's a lot of emotion in this film. There's fatherhood uh, and other themes. And is that the key to the latest films, working on human relations in a more subtle manner? I, I think so. I, there's one thing about this, this uh, trilogy that we're creating that has uh, a real, I think, sense of daring mm -hmm. and uh, a truth in the emotion. So I, th I think as much as we are trying to ent entertain the young members of the audience, we want to speak to the adults in the audience mm -hmm. as well. And something about animation that seems to transcend those barriers. And mm -hmm. So it's very important to me that, that the, the relations feel honest and that the characters themselves are really well drawn with lots of depth and complexity. Bravo. Bravo et merci well done, Bravo well done, Dean de Blois. Welcome to all of you, Kate, America, Kate, Jimon, uh, everyone. Thank you so very much for coming in and happy birthday to DreamWorks and let our love story continue. Thank you again. How to Train Your Dragon 2 is here at the 67th Cannes Film Festival. It is not in competition.